Hey guys, I want to talk to you about Townstar. Somebody asked me about doing a video on um, NFTs. And so that's what today's video is about. Now, if you look at this guy, he can uh, sell things in uh, 45 seconds. Okay, so if you click here beside it and I go to my NFT thing and I go to items, you can see that I have a Express Depot that I can put. Now, the Express Depot can sell it in 33 seconds. So let's send that off on its way. Now, the you think, well... Do I really care if it's 45 seconds versus 33 seconds? No, that's probably not a big deal to you. Uh, for me, you know, for whatever an NFT costs, that's not a big savings. Where the savings comes in on these express depots is if you're in a spot that is like I, I don't know what the number of minutes would be but say that you're in a spot that will take you three minutes when you go in here to sell it says three minutes right here well that might cost you two gasoline because of the amount let's see yeah if it, this right here is saying two minutes and 22 seconds cost you two gasoline let's look under our Express Depot. Oh, wow. It only takes a minute and 44 seconds and costs you one gasoline. That is the advantage of the Express Depot. And this one here, you know, it says uh, there's not one, unfortunately, in the middle that would say two gasoline, but it might be able to take a something that would normally take you three gasoline, turn it into a situation where you can do it in two, and then it would be a benefit. Now, I, I know that sounds confusing, and it, it may be that I just don't know how to articulate it uh, in a way that makes sense, but trust me when I say the Express Depot is useful when you have to be so such a distance from the um, town that it can uh, make it one gasoline as opposed to the regular one that would cost you two gasoline. So that's what a good an Express Depot is. Now, if you look in the store, you can't buy an Express Depot. They don't sell them in the Gala Games store. What they do, though, is they sell Gala Games gold memberships. And to purchase a gold, I've already purchased a gold, so I, I can't really um, show it to you exactly. But um, you can have that option. Right now, I think it costs about... $50. However, if you have enough winnings and, and gala tokens that you can buy it, I would I would recommend it. And here's why. Not only do you get this Express Depot truck, you will also, what they have said is for every game that Gala Games releases, you are supposed to get a useful NFT. And if you notice, the only way that you can buy an Express Depot truck itself is if you go somewhere like OpenSea and you buy one. Now, if you look at my thing, I've got another one because I thought it was so handy. And sometimes you need two to uh, to be able to sell all the things that you need to sell. So I purchased another one from OpenSea. And so I can play, I can have two 
uh, express depots and you can have as many as you want, uh, as many as you can afford maybe. Uh, so that's something to think about. If you join Gala Gold, you get an express depot and you also get a useful item for any other games they release. Now, if you think about it, they're about to release spider tanks. So if you really want to know if it's going to be worth your while, you can wait and see what, what token you get for that. However, the price may go up. There's no, uh, I don't know how they determine. Now, um, let's move on. I think everybody's got that one. This right here is a, uh, let's let our lumberjack pick, pick that tree and I'll show you. This is something that you guys, uh, early on, they used to give prizes for, that's two out of seven water. Now watch this. They used to give prizes for having people sign up and they gave me this fountain. So it's indirectly due to all of you all who joined my channel and I greatly appreciate that. But now you can see he just watered it. So it would be two, four, and then he put a water, so it's five. So really, this is great because it doesn't go away. You can, you, all, you can only use it in one spot at a time, but you can place it anywhere. And then you just, if you click on it, you notice it doesn't have like these, everything else has like a bomb. This just has a return so you return it to your spot here and then you can put it somewhere else if you want to move it so it, it's really a good thing what i like to do with mine is say i want to build a pond right here then i would put it right here and then uh the pond would get uh two water from that and two water from that, and then it would only take six water uh, to build it, okay? So to me, um, this is very useful. Now you can't buy these. However, what you can buy is what they call a water tower. And I saw a video that somebody posted on the water towers. I don't personally have any. It's kind of like I just buy nfts as i go as as i can uh accumulate the gala tokens to buy them so what you do is you play you win some gala and then you can reinvest it so to speak and buy more stuff and that's what what i like to do i like to um, accumulate some gala tokens and then play and then spend it on nfts for games so, uh, but it's up to you what, what you can do. And hopefully NFTs will gain and, and value. Like if I got this for free because uh, I don't know how it works exactly, but so many people signed up uh, under my link and they played. And then, so they gave me this. This is like the lowest tier fountain that there is. It's called an OK Fountain. And so if I wanted to, if I didn't have any use for it, I could go and put it on OpenSea and sell it. It's mine. I own it and it's just, uh, you know, works that way. Uh, so if you get things uh, and you decide you don't want them, then certainly you can sell them. Now, one thing that I did buy that uh, they were selling is this Mr. Puddles. Now, I can tell you with all sincerity, this is a, uh, in my opinion, a waste of money. If you notice, like he runs out and he's going to, you have to have the wells and then he'll pick, he'll get water from the wells and he will bring it over. Now you see him in action right now and it looks all good and everything. But if you have like 20 workers and you're trying to build up some stuff and you've got like, you know, a bunch of wells and you're trying to dig some ponds, he may or may not work. Sometimes he'll just sit in his house and sleep and let the 
can let the workers come out and get the water from the wells and whatnot. I mean, it's kind of like you, you're not guaranteed that he's going to work unless you delete all your your builders. And then if you delete all your builders, then you can't build anything while you're while you're doing that. And anyway, uh, I do not find this to be of very much value at all. Um, if I had to advise you guys, and that's what I'm doing right now, I would say if you win that or get that somehow, if somebody gifts it to you, that's one thing. I would not buy a Mr. Puddles. It's totally, even though it's cheap, meaning inexpensive, um, I would save those gala tokens to buy something else. Okay, I think he's like 300 and something. He's not worth it. Okay, so um, so there's that. Um, I have a sugar cane stand, and this is uh, probably a little bit useful, but not a lot. And what you can do with the sugar cane stand is you can put out, like, put it in the middle of of some um, windmills and it will like automatically put if they're right next to it it puts one and if they're one over it works like a pond it, it's like you got two and you've got one and um it has to be next to a road and all of your windmills have to be next to a road so it's it's not as many as you would probably think um uh, but if you're making cakes or something, that could be useful. Um, I don't know if it's worth what you would end up spending for it, though. Okay, this right here is a wheat stand. Now, a wheat stand, I find this to be very useful. and But they're expensive. Okay, so um, you have to save up a lot of gala to get these. Now, what you can do is if you, it has to be next to a road. So if you were to need to have a bunch of grinders to make the feed, what you can do is put, um, you can put them all the way around it. And it works the same as a pond. It's like, and this is just a regular. You can get different um, levels of a wheat stand, like you can get rare, or um, I think after rare is epic, and then maybe ancient, I don't know. Anyway, th they have um, different levels, and what you can do is... Uh, on these ones, it would be two right around it and then one for the next level. But with grinders, because they only need one and they don't need a road, you can just have one piece of road and I could have three grinders up here, uh, one on each side, three here and three here. And then if you look at it from this point of view, um, you know, all all of these would. So you can get, like, I want to say five across and uh, and then two deep uh, each way. So you can get quite a few grinders around this if you need to. And that's why they are so good for if you're, if you've got, if you're making uniforms. Because you see... All these girls have to do is come over here and um, uh, take the feed out of the grinder. Then it will automatically put more wheat in it and start it going. And so every, you know, five seconds or something, um, these things are ready to go. Let me see. I can't see how many seconds, but anyway, that is the wheat stand NFT. I find it to be, if you're 
wanting to do ranching, with, if you're wanting to do like a wool rush or anything else, I find that to be incredibly helpful. Okay, so that, in my opinion, is an NFT that I do not regret purchasing. Now, let's see what else I have. I think that's all of the the items. And now there are skins. Now, with skins, I have a lot of skins. If you have one of each of the uh, uh, supply, the one for the uh, the Express Depot. Now, if you have one of each of the skins it's uh an accumulative value but i think that these just having one for each one it uh it counts to make the speed of your workers faster and it also takes and uh it makes the production speed like uh, how long it takes the sheep to actually um, create the wool would decrease. Um, and it's, um, I think that the production time decreases like 1% for every, um, for every different set of NFTs that you have. And if you want to know which ones are in each pack and they call it a pack um you can look on the website and if you look at like skin pack number five you can click on it and it'll list every single one so then you could write that down and you could go to open c and um or you can buy the whole skin pack but the whole skin pack is is only gonna benefit as if you have one of them but you can also go to OpenSea and purchase um, skins. And you could just say, okay, out of those five, I just need one. So then you can look those, look up skins for Townstar on OpenSea and you could purchase just one. And, um, and that would be all you need. Now, uh, the... I don't know what I'm doing here. The uh, what you can also do when you come in, if you have a bunch of them, you can just say apply all instead of having to go like one at a time and applying them, and then you know. But I I'm not sure. It doesn't really show you on the screen anywhere. Um, the, this, any indicator of how much speed that you're getting and my town, after I set it up now, I know I've had a lot of issues with, with my town getting hung up and, and whatnot, but it almost seems like even though I have the maximum amount, like I, purchased them so that I can have the maximum amount of benefit. I don't know if it really is working 100%. And the reason why I say that is I have gone into it before and I've not done anything and I go and I look and some of my skins have, have unapplied themselves somehow. Um, but if we apply all, we should get that benefit. And so let's see if we, uh, well, I missed out. Let's see. Um, let's wait for something. I hate to make people wait when we're doing this, but we'll wait until either they're uh, about to grow the trees. They'll probably be faster than waiting for this guy again, but they got plenty of food for them, so maybe not. We'll, we'll see which one. I think this is going to be the faster. So you notice that uh, my little farmers have their uh, little costumes on. Um, oops, I missed it. 
I wasn't paying attention. My goodness. All right, so trees normally take 20 seconds to, uh, to grow. Here we go, 17 seconds. So it has decreased the amount of time for trees to grow by three seconds. So um, you have to say, is it worth it? Is it really giving that much of a benefit or not? Um, to me, I was uh, insecure about other people having that benefit. But like I say, I don't know if it really makes a big difference or not, to be honest. Um, but if it's something that you... Like I say, if you reinvest your winnings of in the, back into the game, then uh, you know you don't have to buy them all at once. Each one has their own benefit. It's like each one gives you one uh, percent toward production time, and it gives you uh, two point five percent toward the speed of these workers. Now, if you look at the workers, it's like, do they look like they're moving 10% faster? They look faster to me, or 25% faster. They look faster to me, but I I don't know. It's hard to, you know, put a town right side by side and, and do that uh, estimation, and I, and I really haven't just wanted to go there. Um, now, let's see if I have anything else to say about, uh, I don't have these things. They say that FarmBot can, um, can mine the, um, the, let me see where, um, let me find a, I don't know if it's even able to work yet but there are I can never find stuff when I'm looking for it right okay these right here box coin mine I think if you set up next to that or you don't even have to set up next to it but it makes more sense if that's what you're after and the reason why it makes sense to set up next to it if you're going to use those is the way I understand it. Now, I'm not, I don't have one, and I don't know how to use it really exactly, but I think that these farm bots, if you, if you have one and you set up next to that, they will run out of your town over to that volcano type mountain, and they will mine um, some of those coins and bring them back to your town. So obviously, you you know, I don't know if there is a a range uh, that you have to be close to it or not. Like, do you have to be within like uh, ten spaces of it, or will it run across half the continent to get to it? I don't know. And if it does have to travel to it, does it have to travel there and get the coins? bring them back and then go back and whatnot. I don't know any of those details. So if I did, I would uh, let you know. And if I do find out, I will let you know. But um, if you have interest in those, you have to do your own research because I, I don't know about those. Now, these crane bots, they um, take the place of a builder and they are twice as fast from what I have seen from looking at videos on them. They're like twice as fast as a builder. So it would be super cool or awesome, in my opinion, to have that. But um, but they cost a lot. So, you know, I don't know. when I'll get one, I don't know. So I, I have really, basically, at this time, all of the nfts that that i've been able to afford and um this is just a little town that i set up for an example it's not really uh anything that i am 
uh, working on. So uh, I just wanted to be able to show you NFTs uh, as they work. And you know what I could do probably is if I wanted to, I could just put this little this little bot here and uh, and delete these two farmers. Where are the farmhouses? And delete my farmers now, and then I would uh, he would keep those watered. And um, then I, I don't really have a need for farmers because I don't need the wheat uh, harvested because it's automatic from my wheat stand. And um, so there, there could be benefit to that little bot, but like I say, it's not a huge benefit. Okay, so let me show you in, let's see. Forgive me for having stuff running. I, uh, I'm i actually trying to build a PC that will be able to be, uh, that I can run my node on uh, that will be, you know, good for that purpose when they upgrade. Now, in the store, you can see, you can tell it, you want to look at the price of stuff with ETH. And then they have BAT. Now they removed BAT. Okay, so I think that 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 is just an oversight. Uh, the way you can see the coins that you have, well, they've still got BAT. Maybe they removed something else. I can't remember what it was, uh, but BAT is still there. So BAT, I think this is like a brave coin for when they did the um, the brave thing, but. I don't know. I'm new to crypto, honestly, so I'm not the best. Now, on the on the inventory, you can see all your different coin amounts, and you can see um, your NFTs, and they're sorted by game. So I can go in here and see all these Townstar NFTs. Now, there's something that uh, if you click on this little globe, it takes you to your treasure chest page. Now this distribution stuff, that is for my node. I get every day that I run my node, if you notice that says three days ago and that says 14 hours ago, I somehow, the computer over here that my daughter uses, it's where I got my node running and it somehow it hung up or something and anyway, I, did, I missed a day of distribution. I hate when that happens. It makes me sad. But anyway, this referral reward is actually what I got for last week playing uh, Townstar. That would be more rewards there, except for I have made some purchases. I, I take my gala tokens out, which there's good and bad to that. Hopefully the NFTs will increase in, in value so it's not a waste. But if you notice the price of gala has gone from like two cents to 10 cents. So would it be better if I had saved that gala and, you know, had it to liquefy if I decide to do that or not? All those choices about what to do and what, how you want to invest your money or, you know, in this case, we're talking about gala, but to me, that's money. Um, how you want to handle that is all your own personal choice based on your own personal circumstance. So I will never judge anybody based on what you're doing. Uh, and please don't judge me based on what I'm doing because I'm just, you know, having my phone with this right now and figuring it out as I go. I can tell you that I have probably wasted a ton of money just as a learning thing. And I, I try to pass that info on to you guys so you don't make the same mistakes that I have made. But uh, nonetheless, this distribution is what I get uh, 
from here on a daily basis uh, that gets added together. Now, I can take those out. I can take them both out. The way you take your money out of your treasure chest is you click on it. And see, right now, it's $58 to take that out. That is a crazy amount. If you be patient and you wait and you watch it, that's $58. So to, for me to get this 4000 almost $4,100 in gala tokens would cost me $103. That is not a good deal. You can wait and watch it, and it can get down to like $10. And then, you know, if you have a whole big stack of gala and it's $10, that's not too bad of a thing. So you can see that I have some gala left over from where I got some out, and then I've spent some. Uh, one of the things that I bought was this this um, thing from Spider Tanks. It's a rare body. Um, whether or not that's a good investment is going to be remain to be seen. For Mirandas, I have bought some NFTs there. Uh, a true provider, a tent. This dragon voucher came with came for free, and I say free. Uh, kind of like not really free. You you pay for everything that you get, but it came with a uh, Town Star skin pack. And then I found out after I purchased that skin pack that you can buy individual skins on OpenSea, and it could save you a lot of money buying them just the ones that you need. So. That was one of the mistakes that I made, which was buying uh, a whole skin pack. And if you if you go over here and you uh, you look, it's like I was saying, you can go and click on the skin pack, and it tells you every it tells you you get a dragon voucher piece, uh, and then you also get five skins for Mirandas. So what you do is you write down all five of these and then you go look and see which one you can get the cheapest on OpenSea and you buy it. And when you apply that skin, it's as if you had bought this whole skin pack. And these skin packs are not cheap. You can see that. So that's what I would do if I were uh, looking to buy. That's what I did with every single one except for that first one that I bought. And uh, you have to be careful when you're listing things on OpenSea because if you list it and then you decide that you don't want to sell it, you still have to pay that 5 or 10% fee or whatever it is. Uh, so that can cost you money uh, if you like list it and say, oh, well, I should have listed it for cheaper. That can cost you money. So it might not be your in your best interest to to change it. So anyway, back to the uh, the thing for Mirandas. I also got a seafarer, a camp, and a dwarf. Now see what I did was I bought the tent by accident, and so I'm kind of stuck with that. I meant to buy the camp, and I thought I got confused, and I ended up buying both. But the the uh, the camp is what I meant to buy. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but it says that you get food and a decent night's sleep in a camp. So that's that's going to be important in that, I think. And the seafarer looks like a fun uh, character to have. And the true provider and the glimmering clan look like I can actually utilize these two in order to make money in the game. And that's that's one of the things. I want to have fun in Mirandas, but I also want to be able to make some real money. And so um, that is, is what you can do. Um, as far as some of these other games, like Fortified, I don't have anything from that. This is the only thing. It looks like to me might be a cheap price to pay, but 
I don't know anything about the game. I don't know if I even want to play it. So I'm not touching this one. If I get drops in my uh, node ownership thing, they will give you NFTs. But the way they distribute them, it is possible that you will never get an NFT. So I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. But like I say, I'm not spending money on Fortified. I'm excited about, about Mirandas. That is the kind of game that I would enjoy playing. Spider Tanks, I've played that. It's fun. Um, they're going to set it up, I think, so that if you had, like, if you had the shark, you could set up something where you can, I don't know if it's going to cost you money to do this or whatever, but you can, what they call, rent your, uh, your item out. So that means that you have it, you never release the ownership of it. However, you can loan it, so to speak, to somebody else. And so what happens is you put it in this pool of ones that other people can quote unquote rent. And then when they play, if they have some winnings, then they <clears throat> you will get half of whatever they win. So if you own this uh, NFT and other people want to use it and you set it up in that rental program, then you can make money by not doing anything. You're just the investor. You bought the item and you let other people use it and they, they make you money and level up your uh, guy. I mean, this... They're making these so that eventually this could be leveled up. Now, they are doing like a time limit on these shark items. Okay, so it looks like, um, I don't know, is that three hours or three days? I'm not sure um, what's going on with that. It looks like three hours, but I don't know that for sure. Um, but I didn't know they were putting them out here for a certain time frame. I would think it would be three days, though, because honestly, um, I, I don't think they put it out there until Thursday. So three days, we'll put it at Thursday. And so far, I don't have enough uh, gala tokens to buy one of these. However... If I get enough before Thursday, I might try to buy one. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is what you can do is you can set it up in some kind of a program where you loan it out. And then if somebody uses it and plays with it, you get half of the rewards and they get half. So they're earning and they're earning for you. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to play. You don't have to do anything except own the item so if that's something that people are interested in doing they're going to be doing that at least with spider tanks and i'm pretty sure that they will do it with uh other games now i'm not sure that there's really any any real way to do that with town star but if they did do that you know like i ended up with some extra skins that i don't necessarily need and I was going to give you know my daughter and my brother and my friend some, one but um if you can rent them out to other players then that might be uh something that that would give you incentive to want to buy those extra ones that you don't need um so that is pretty much um, I think I have covered everything that I know about um, NFTs at this time. In order to um, to purchase, okay, so you've got up here, you've got MetaMask that you can 
I've, I've showed how if you don't, if you haven't seen the uh, collecting rewards video, that shows you how to sign up to MetaMask. I don't know if I showed you, but if you go to OpenSea.io, that is how you get to um, a place where you can buy. Uh, let me see. Uh, where you can buy, uh, <coughs> excuse me, NFTs. And so what you do is like you search for Poundstar, and then just click here when it comes up in your search. And then don't search up here. You've already got Poundstar up. Then you scroll down a little bit and search here. And like if I want to look for uh, for skins, then I would just be skin and and boom. And usually I've already got mine set low to high because I always want the best, uh, the least expensive price. Okay, so that's why I do it that way. And then you can see in the background this is pack. These are pack eight ones. Uh, so you only need one of the pack eight. So if I say, well, this one looks the cheapest, then I look and I say, how are they selling them? All of these are ETH, okay? Uh, so then I want to go and and look at the next one, and all of these are ETH, okay? So you keep going. Until if you're spending your gala, you want to find one that has, see how this has USDC? This is um, uh, a dollar coin that they have um, that you can buy with like your bank account or credit card or something. I don't know. Uh, but here's the thing, and this is why I think that we're not seeing gala. They are, I noticed that my gala isn't showing up. I want, went to buy a skin for the tank game, the uh, spider tanks, and it wasn't recognizing that I had any gala, and I do have gala. So, um, so that is a problem. But you can see here, like this one is $15 worth of ETH. Okay, so if you want to use ETH, if you have the money in ETH, then certainly that is an option. But I think that right now I have a ticket in with um, with OpenSea. So hopefully they're looking into that problem, um, if you want to call it a problem. I, I think it's a problem because guess what? If I buy this stuff, I want to uh, use my... Gala tokens. However, when you go to make a purchase, even if you're using Gala, you're going to have to pay that freaking gas fee. And um, if you look in your wallet, you can see all of those items that you have in your inventory. If you've got both of these, um, set up you're going to be able to see your inventory here on OpenSea and you're going to be able to see your inventory on Gala Games. Okay so what I was saying though about OpenSea is you're going to have to pay a gas fee. So you're going to need some ETH but it's not going to be if you if you go into it and you go to buy something and it says that it's going to be like, I don't know, $150 for the gas fee, then don't buy it. You can cancel. It, you, have to, um, you have to click on your, um, when you're buying something in OpenSea, it'll ask you and then you have to click on your MetaMask and it'll do a drop down and it'll say approve it. If you say reject it, then you're not buying it. It will discard that transaction and you'll be okay. However, the first time you set up and connect with OpenSea, it will 
charge you a gas fee. And I think, I don't know, I want to say it was, it was expensive. It was like $60 or something when I did it. But that, again, may depend on how much the gas fee is at the time that you're doing it. So you might want to do um, a little research on, you know, when the gas fee is low. The way you can kind of tell, in my opinion, I, I don't know if this is true for that, but if I come over here and I have something in my uh, thing and I click on it and I say, oh, $55, that's a lot of a gas fee. So now it's probably not a good time. So um, then you might want to wait until you click on it and you see it's around $10 or $15. And then it's like, whoa, that's a good good gas fee. Let me go over and um, and set up my open C right at that time. The other thing is when you buy something on the gala site, like if, if you say, oh, yeah, I want to buy this tank, and let me do that. If I haven't ever used this uh, crypto coin thing, but I think you can use other payment methods to do it. But even when I buy this and I place the order, it will um, ask me about the gas fee. And I always do it on the slowest option that I can. But you could, if you're impatient, you can make it faster, but it's going to cost more on the gas fee. So there will be some gas fee when you buy stuff, anything that you buy. So if you don't have any ETH, I would save up for that and, uh, and and try to get, you know, that in there in your MetaMask wallet so that you can buy stuff. So it is a little complicated. The thing about it is they now are doing business with Binance and then they also are doing with through... Uh, I think it's called Flash. They're doing XRP maybe or something like that. Don't quote me on these things because I'm just learning about crypto myself. I, honestly, this year is when I started looking into crypto and I'm so thankful that I found Gala Games. It's like uh, a blessing, I think. Uh, so anyway, the... Um, these could be could be to the point where you maybe mint your nfts to a different chain other than the ethernet chain or not ethernet ethereum i'm sorry i always want to call ethereum ethernet but it's ethereum let's get that straight and if i say ethernet you know what i'm talking about i'm not talking about setting your computer up to hardwire into your <laughs> into your modem, I'm talking about cryptocurrency, Ethereum. Okay, so um, sorry if I have said that in the video throughout. I don't know what I've said. But anyway, so you, you will have options eventually, I think, that you can mint your items to a different blockchain and it be on a blockchain that has no gas fees or very low gas fees. It's like Binance, I think, you know, on Ethereum, it could cost you uh, $100, whereas on Binance, it could cost you 50 cents, right? So, uh, but I don't think that they've got any other options set up. But that might be what's coming out next month, part of that. Because with the invent of the town coin, and I think I mentioned do not try to buy a town coin ahead of time. Wait for it to be released by Gala Games and see how it works even in the game before you decide you want to buy it. Uh, but anyway, the uh, with the... Town coin coming out and being released. I'm almost thinking that they have gotten their gala ecosystem that they were having set up 
so that um, that we can have other options other than Ethereum. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm sorry that I got so long-winded on this, but there's so many things that I think about that it's like, oh, that's useful, and if, oh, that's useful. If there's something that I didn't cover or uh, something that maybe I misspoke about, please feel free, leave a comment. Let's keep each other informed. Um, I think this is a great community. I really love you guys. And I know that sounds trite to some people, but I interacting with you guys and everything, I just really do feel the love. And I appreciate you all. And I hope I am helping everyone. And uh, if there's something else that you want a, a video on, somebody had left me a comment and asked for this video. And that's why I, I thought to make it before that. I didn't really think anybody cared that much. But now, uh, hopefully, this will be helpful. And like I say, share with me. And I'm sharing with you. And let's keep everybody in the loop. All right. I hope this was helpful and informative. If it was, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.